Hola, ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we're going to talk about communication in Counter-Strike. We're going to talk about why communication is essential, why communication can make you a much better player, why it can make you a better teammate, and why communication could be the thing that you lack in your game in order to become a better player, in order to gain levels, in order to get to global elite, in order to get to face at level 10 and, I guess, achieve your goals. A lot of people neglect communication. A lot of people think that giving info in Counter-Strike is very simple, but it couldn't be any further from the truth. I played professional Counter-Strike myself for seven to eight years, and I know how important communication is. I've had plenty of good teammates that individually speaking, when it comes to the aim, when it comes to the mechanics, they were superior to some of my teammates, but they were terrible at communicating. Hence why they were terrible to be a teammate with. Hence why the teams where they were on didn't perform as well as they should have. I cannot give you a much better example than that, but being a great individual player, having great mechanics, having great aim, can completely be destroyed by your inability and your, I guess, lack of communication. You will be a terrible teammate to be around. We can't really have any team play with you. And I guess the entire game will be based on your individual skill if you're having a good day or bad day. So communication, it can elevate yourself. It can elevate your teammates around you. It can elevate your, I guess, your entire atmosphere within a team as well. And it can make so that your bottom level is being raised, right? A lot of players have good mechanics, but when they're having a bad game, they don't offer anything. Even if you're having a bad game, if you're great at communicating, if you're a great teammate, you will still be sure that you're contributing to the team and the desire to win. So let's jump into it, where I will give you a couple of examples of what you can look out for and a couple of methods uh, in terms of how you can improve your communication in Counter-Strike. I would highly, highly advise you guys to watch this video, send it to your teammates, send it to your friends. This is something a lot of people can learn from, and I see it on a a daily basis people are neglecting it sometimes people even say oh you talk too much well there's a case where you can talk too much but in nine out of ten instances that is just someone who's insecure about communication and doesn't really get it so let's make sure that none of us are brain dead anymore and we get the communication aspect in counter-strike let's get to it here's a couple of good reasons as to why you should use skin baron to buy and sell your skins on average they are 30 percent cheaper than the steam market so there's an awful lot of money to be saved it's a safe environment. They have more than a million skins up for grabs, all different types. And even more important as well, you can sell your skins, get money to your bank account, or you can buy them using credit card, mobile pay, etc. Germany-based company, they pay their taxes. They're very legit, safe environment, so get going. All right, so let's start off with the basics of communication in Counter-Strike. In this video, there'll be some more advanced thoughts as well. So if you're already a high level player, but you want to get even better, semi-pro, perhaps even pro players could probably benefit from listening in. Basic communication in Counter-Strike, of course, you're giving information, right? You're telling your teammates what's going on, the spot you're playing. And a great example is the B bomb site on Mirage. A mistake that you see happen all over the time, and a mistake that you probably made yourself, a mistake that I made myself, even some pro players or semi-pro players still does it to this day. If you're playing B by yourself, here in Mirage, and you face that there's an execute coming in. Instead of saying they're rushing B, right? When you think they're rushing B, you have perhaps seen one player up in apartments, you see a couple of flashes, you're saying they're rushing B, they're rushing B, they're rushing B. What does that mean to the rest of your teammates? If you're standing over here in A, you're standing CT spawn, and you're hearing they're rushing B, they're rushing B, they're rushing B. That pretty much indicates that all of them are rushing B, right? Same could be said for the guy playing in connect over here. They're rushing B, they're rushing B. Well, that guy's also going to be turning towards B and he wants to rotate over to help you, of course. But their rushing B is terrible communication. What does their rushing B even mean? How many? There's five players alive. So their rushing B, is it two of them? Is it three of them? Is it four of them? Is all five rushing B? That's why you got to be precise with your communication. So you see a player, one is pushing B. You're saying one is pushing B. A couple of flashes as well. One out, two out, three out. I think they're all B, all right? That could be a way of communicating it. So you take it at different stages. So you're basically just communicating what you're seeing. At that point, you're making your teammates aware. So when they're hearing this, one is pushing B, he's not gonna rotate. Two is pushing B, he's not gonna rotate. Three are rushing B, four, four is out, four is out. Then he's gonna make the rotation. Then he's like having all the bits of information that he needs in order to make the correct rotation. This is an example that you can make on a lot of different maps. Dust 2 as well. They're rushing B, they're rushing B. Well, in reality, look how easy it is to fake a B rush. I'm just gonna show it to you quickly. If you smoke like this, and you have a guy just pumping, flashing like this, flashing, 
over, flashing out of the window. When in reality, I'm only one guy here. Let's say we were two guys here. You're smoking window, you're smoking long, you're flashing two times out. And if you're standing right and say, they're rushing B, they're rushing B, then all of a sudden, you have your entire teammate rotating, rotating over towards the B bomb site, And you could potentially have three players from the opposing team standing down here in ramp ready to go up towards the a bomb site so it's very important that you put numbers to what you see you have to describe what you see and that is what the next thing i want to talk about here in part two of the video communication in counter strike it's about describing it's about painting a picture so let's move into that part now when it comes to communication is a principle and a rule that i made up for myself in order to improve my communication back in the days i think it's something a lot of people would benefit from and it's called at least in my mind the second sentence it's called the follow-up information let me give you a couple of examples of what i mean and let me describe it for you so you get an idea of why it's important in i'd say nine out of ten instances not all the time but most of the time a side of mirage and someone is flashing over a you're saying right imagine you're in a game scenario you're saying i flash over a okay you hear that as a b player what does that mean are they are they coming are they going are they are they just flashing are they just wasting a flash are, are they being aggressive with the flash are they taking map control what's going on I, I, they're flashing away it, it doesn't mean anything it just leaves a lot of questions to be answered but if you're saying they're flashing away nothing up nothing up i think they just took the map control well, okay, you added two sentences. So now you're giving context to the information. They were flashing up, but they're not being aggressive with it. They're not up ramp. And you're thinking they're just taking a ramp control. You could be wrong, but then you can communicate that further along. But now the B players will be calm. They'll be like, okay, no need to rotate. No need to think about it. It's, it's something I just, you know, whatever. I can keep it in the back of my mind. But if you're just saying, they're flashing away. They're flashing away. Okay, I, I, one flash. Two flash? Are they going? Are, th are they rushing? Are they are they coming? If you don't follow it up with the second sentence, you're just leaving a lot of questions for the other players. Could be the connector guy as well. Could be the mid player as well. Now, if you if you can't recognize that, that's because you're probably not listening to information. That's another thing about communication in Counter Strike. You also gotta listen to your teammates, right? If you're one of those idiots who are like, "Oh, you talk too much. Shut up." Like. I'd say in nine out of 10 instances, people are not talking too much. It's just you not able to comprehend the information you're being given. Obviously, if there's nonstop talking and you can't hear anything, it's okay to say. I'd say nine out of 10 instances, it's just you whining about it because you can't really comprehend what you're, what you're getting in, you know, and, and you can't really filter what you, you need to hear and what you can just ignore, I guess. But that's an example of why the second sentence is important. I'm gonna give you an even better example right here on Mirage in middle. You're the AWP player, you're spotting middle. Very, very likely scenario. You're getting smoked off window like this. You're saying, I'm spotting middle. I can't see middle, I'm smoked off. What does that mean for the connector player? What does that mean for the catwalk player? Are you staying in this position? Can you hear if they're coming fast connector? Can you hear if they come fast short? Not really. So now you've got to make your teammates aware. You're smoked off middle. Be careful fast connector, be careful short. All right, so you are making your teammates aware of the possibility of them coming fast into connector, coming fast over catwalk because you're instantly smoked off and you have no way of giving them that information. Let's say that you're being smoked off like this instead. You're standing in window. You're saying, I smoked off top middle. They can't be behind the boxes. They can't be behind the boxes. Now, all of a sudden, you're making your connector player and you're making your short player aware that you have control over middle. Even though you're smoked off, you have control over it. But if you're saying, I'm smoked off top middle. Okay, that, 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 can they be behind the box? Can they be chair? Can they go close catwalk? If you're standing over here, you have no idea because you don't know whether the smoke is landing right here or if the smoke is landing right here. So you don't know if the mid player has access to information. That is why the second sentence giving context to the information is super important. I'm smoked off middle. I still got if they come catwalk, all right? They could be close connector though because you're holding this angle. So you're saying I'm smoked off middle. They can't be catwalk, but they could be close connector. You're giving context to the information. You're making your player and connector aware that okay all of a sudden he can't stand like this and spot apps anymore he can't stand like this if he is because he gotta be aware for middle the second sentence is the most important sentence giving context to inf the information is the most important piece of information in order to provide context for your teammates for them to perform better make the correct decisions and not be caught off guard i am sick and tired of players who are like i smoked off middle okay I'm the short player right here. You smoked off middle, okay? Are you are you rotating away? Can they be short? Can they be catwalk? Some may say, well, I'm smoked off middle, so of course they could be catwalk. Yeah, but I don't know if you have a gap in your smoke. I don't know if you're listening to catwalk. You could be standing right here and listening if they come close catwalk. Are you, are you doing that or did you rotate or? I don't know. That would be my initial thought. If I'm playing B short and the guy in middle say, I'm smoked off middle. Okay, what's your response? 
I'm rotating CT spawn. Watch out, catwalk. Watch out, connector. There we go. Now I know where my teammate is. I know what he's doing. I know what his intentions are. And I know what I need to be careful of. That second part of the information, the second, third, fourth sentence is the important piece of information. That's what you react to. That's how you act. That's how you play. That's how you have synergy in between the teammates. Learn it for the love of God. I see players with 3k elo, 5k elo, global elites, absolute mechanically gifted players who are brain dead to an extent where they'll argue. Well, I was smoked off military, of course they can be short. Oh, there's no way you're that good at the game and that bad at communicating is what I'm thinking. So you may as well learn it from the get-go. You may as well get it under your skin from the get-go. The second part of the sentence, the second part of the information, usually the most important part as well. Print it inside your mind so you become a great team. That's all.